Today we will discuss the functional aspects of fetal circulation and what are the postnatal changes. Now this is the fetal heart. The important blood vessels connected to the fetal heart are this is inferior vena cava this is superior vena cava These are lungs to which the pulmonary vessels are connected. Two pulmonary veins originate from each lung. Lungs are just like other organs of body as these are non-functional in fetus. The important arteries are this is pulmonary aorta, this is pulmonary aorta. Dividing into two branches, that is right and left pulmonary arteries. This is the systemic aorta. And this is very important ductus arteriosus. Now, this is the systemic or dorsal aorta. This is pulmonary artery, and this one is. Ductus arteriosus. Now look at this hole. This is foramen oval. This is a hole in the interatrial septum of fetal heart. Now this is the placenta. And this is what we say umbilical cord. This umbilical cord is having one umbilical vein. This umbilical vein divides into two branches. One branch is connected to the inferior cava. while another branch combines with hepatic portal vein emerging from the digestive system of fetus. So this is umbilical vein which is single. This is the branch of umbilical vein which is connecting with inferior vena cava. This is known as ductus venosus and this is hepatic portal vein. After combining with hepatic portal vein, it 
it enters the transverse fissure of the liver now these are common iliac arteries right and left common iliac arteries this is external iliac artery and this is internal iliac artery the one branch from each internal iliac artery arises and enter the umbilical cord as umbilical arteries so these are two umbilical arteries and this is one umbilical vein and this is what we say umbilical cord the jelly inside is known as wartons jelly now the flow of blood we we'll start with the umbilical vein which carries oxygenated oxygenated blood from the placenta this is placenta to the fetus this umbilical cord is also the part of fetus this oxygenated blood is traveling in this way it will divide into two branches oxygenated blood oxygenated blood when it combines with infra vena cava which is collecting the deoxygenated blood the oxygenation is decreased so we can say that mixed type of blood supply enters the infra vena cava in this part when it is connected with ductus venosus ductus venosus carries oxygenated blood and infra vena cava was carrying deoxygenated blood so mixed type of or decreased oxygenation blood enters the infra vena cava now mixed blood supply enters here deoxygenated blood supply enters from superior vena cava again the oxygenation is decreased and it is pushed towards the left atria in which the deoxygenated blood was entering via the pulmonary veins look at this the deoxygenated blood of pulmonary veins entered it now it becomes mixed deoxygenated plus mix it will become mixed and mixed type of blood enters in both right atria right ventricle and the left ventricle this mixed type of blood supply enters the systemic aorta and mixed type of blood supply is given to all body parts by this pulmonary aorta mixed blood enters the pulmonary arteries and also the lungs receive the mixed blood supply and after opening oxygen from that these deliver deoxygen blood in the pulmonary vessels or veins which enter the left atria so we can say that the umbilical arteries carry oxygenated blood even ductus venosus is having oxygenated blood but the mixed type of blood supply is found in infra vena cava in the systemic aorta in all the major arteries of the blood and also the pulmonary arteries even ductus arteriosus is having the mixed blood supply now what changes occur after birth or at the time of birth at the time of birth anatomical closure of and also the functional closure functional closure of foramen ovale occurs and this becomes fossa ovalis and the ductus arteriosus also closes into a ligament fibrous structure that is known as ligamentum arteriosum this is ductus venosus it becomes ligamentum venosum and these umbilical arteries become medial umbilical ligaments look at this this branch that is umbilical vein a part of umbilical vein this umbilical vein obliterated umbilical vein or the vein becomes obliterated and is known as ligamentum teres or round ligament of liver if functional closure of 
foramen ovale do not occur. We will say the condition is patent foramen ovale. If the ductus arteriosus fail to close, then the condition is patent ductus arteriosus. Both conditions are termed as hole in the heart. 